hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse slipper I am a full-time reseller on eBay Poshmark Mercari and Etsy and this was actually this past weekend was one of our slowest sales weekends all year and I think that's a culmination of me not putting a ton of time into eBay over the last two months but we still had some decent sales. We have $850 going out from eBay and we also have quite a few Poshmark sales, some Etsy and some Mercari and I'm gonna show you those right now. All right, so the last day to be guaranteed by Christmas was actually this past Monday. And though some items might still make it there by Christmas, it's kind of iffy now if you're selling stuff as to whether it will make it there by Christmas, depending on how backed up the post office is. So first up is this Christmas bridge. And these are actually going out on Monday. So these do have enough time. You can see it says magical bridge. This one was a Cheryl Ann and this one I paid less than a dollar it sold for $10.49 plus the buyer paid shipping so this one is going to be about a seven dollar profit and it sold in about four months up next these little bottles sold pretty fast they actually sold in under two months and there are five of them so little purple blue kind of an amber and they're just five little vintage bottles they do all have stoppers and these five sold for $25.19 I only paid a couple of dollars so they're actually about a $20 profit I did decide to lot up the five versus selling them for five dollars each try and get a little bit better sales average and that was a pretty fast sale up next these took about four months and I was really surprised because they are some really cool little uranium candy bowls and or nut bowls these do glow with a black light and these sold for thirty dollars and 58 cents plus the buyer paid 11 in shipping i paid about three dollars for these so they're going to be about a 23 dollar profit and i do want to point out on these they are anchor hawking you can see the ah there on the bottom so watch out for uranium though the market has been kind of flooded with it in the recent year some of it does not sell very high but if you find really nice serving pieces or bigger or rare pieces those can still bring really really good money up next is a kurt adler ornament this is the corselin king there is your Kurt S. Adler on the bottom. It is brand new in the box. I paid about $2 for this. It sold for $40 in about four months, and it is going to be about a $33 profit. This next item actually took over a year and a half to sell, so a long time. It is a beautiful hand-painted pitcher from Italy, so it does have Italy signed on it. And it is just a little pitcher. It only sold for $22.48, but I only paid three. So it's actually about a $15 profit. But this is something in the future I probably will skip because with breakables, honestly, I'd like to be at about a $30 sales price or better if I am packing a larger breakable item. Up next is Elvis. This one is Hound Dog. So I actually only have three of these left out of the original 15. They sold very fast. This one sold for $17.49 in about two months. And I did pay five for this. So he's about a $10 profit. And then a license plate. So if you don't know, I bought a thousand of these for about a dollar a piece. This one took about four months to sell. It is from 1935. And this one sold for $14.38. So just because they're older doesn't necessarily mean big money. You do need to check the year and state of each tag you find. And this one will be about a $10 profit. All right, up next was a great sale, but it took over a year. So this little teapot is a gorem and it is signed there on the bottom it is silver plated and this one is from the early 1900s it sold for 80 dollars 
I paid about five, so it's about a $60 profit, but it did take over a year to sell. There are quite a few of these that people have listed. So if you list plain teapots, they can take a little bit longer to sell. Up next is an ornament by Longa Burger. So this one is Snow Days by Dustin. You can see it is a snowflake. We had another one that was Snow Days by Ben. So they do have them by different makers. This one I paid less than $2. It sold for $12 in about three months. So it's about an $8 profit. And pretty good sale though. I am happy because these are in their original boxes. So they actually have styrofoam to go on top. So we don't have to worry as much when shipping it. Up next is something I think gets passed up quite a bit and that is tiles so this is a beautiful Casablanca tile by Amando Pina Jr and it actually was made in England but the design is by H&R Johnson so this tile I paid less than five dollars it sold for forty six dollars making it about a thirty five dollar profit and it took about six to eight months to sell up and next is a little brass candle holder really really pretty with enamel on it this one i paid a dollar and it sold it took about a year as well so this is another longer tail item and it sold for 12.58 plus the buyer paid nine in shipping so it's about a nine dollar profit up next is a beautiful necklace this is kind of amethyst color with aurora borealis beautiful beautiful vintage necklace and this one sold for $15.29 plus the buyer paid five in shipping took about four months to sell and this one I paid around three or four so it's going to be about an eight dollar profit and then I made a mistake when I listed these plates I should have listed them as a set but I listed them individually and am not making much they're luckily they're little so they're not hard to ship this one is the 12 days of christmas this one is nine ladies leaping this one sold for two dollars and thirty cents it's like a dollar profit very frustrating so i should have sold the whole set of 12 of them for about 30 to 40 dollars versus two bucks a piece but you know you live and learn i did list them about two years ago so it has been a little while and yeah not much profit on this one up next is a sweatshirt and this is a cape cod i always pick up the souvenir sweatshirts i do really well with them this one i picked it up for a dollar it sold for 17.99 and less than a month so pretty fast this one is like new and it is on a cuffy's cape cod tag and it's going to be about a 13 dollar profit another item that took almost two years that is this playbill i am only pennies in and this one is from sugar babies it sold for 837 so it's about a six dollar profit look when when they still had cigarette ads and playbills this is an older one and i am okay with that it is paper it is really easy to ship and then the last of these Hummel ornaments. So I was getting some lower offers on these ornaments as well as a ton of other stuff. And I was kind of irritated with it. I'm not going to lie because I ran a 40% off sale. So that was quite a bit higher than my normal sale. I ran it because it was the last week to ship for Christmas. And instead of more things selling, what ended up happening is I got a lot more lowball offers. And when I say a lot, I mean like five plus a day that were well under 50% of my sale price. And I ended up, I had been accepting offers or not accepting, but I had been countering the lowball offers versus just declining them after we talked about it a little bit on our Tuesday night reseller show and i just got so frustrated i'm like forget this i'm not playing ball with them and i just started declining so some of them did end up in sales this is one of them but i just i'm like if you're offering me 30 percent of a 40 percent off sales price i just i'm not i'm not going to entertain it and i did end up declining them so these hummel plastic ornaments are the last i had five sets 
and these sold for $16.78. I was getting like five and seven dollar offers and I'm like no they finally sold at full price. I paid five so they're about a ten dollar profit and they sold in about four months. Up next is a little Harley Davidson pin. These have been listed about six to seven months now. This one sold for $11.98. I paid a dollar so it's going to be about a nine dollar profit and really easy to photograph, list, and ship. And then this little chickadee took over a year as well. Really cute. These are little pieces of pine cone. It has glitter and sticks for the tail. Very, very cute little kitschy bird. This one sold for $12.58 and I paid a dollar. It'll be about a $9 profit. And again, it did take over a year to sell. And then one of my friend Charlene's pens. This is a Tony Stewart home depot car this one sold for 5.99 charlene and i split the profit so it's about two dollars a piece and it took about four to five months to sell up next is a little avon this is ruby red cape cod this one is a little bath oil five ounce this one i paid less than a dollar it sold for 8.99 the buyer did pay shipping and it took about four months to sell it'll be about a five dollar profit and then some vintage hankies. I picked them up for a dollar. They do have the E. They are vintage, fine quality, three men's handkerchiefs. And these were made in the USA. They sold for $11.98. And they're about a $9 profit. Took about six to eight months to sell. And then another license plate. This 1975 Florida license plate sold for $9. I paid a dollar. This one's about a $5 profit after fees. Up next is a teeny tiny little plush puppy. He is a little ornament and he sold for $4.25. Super cute and really easy to list and ship. I paid less than 50 cents. He's about a $3 profit and he took about six months to sell. He does have his little Santa hat on there. And I don't think he had music, but his music doesn't work anymore. And we did put that in the title. And then this cute little cross stitch Christmas tree. I paid less than 50 cents. It sold for $6.75 in about three months. It is about a $5 profit. All right, another Florida license plate. This one here sold for $23.99. We paid a dollar and this one is about an $18 profit and it sold in about four months. All right, we are down to our last three for eBay and this is a vintage Pyrex. If you watch my catch treasure hunting channel, if you don't, I do a thrifting or garage sale video once a week. It's catch treasure hunting. I picked this up at a yard sale for a quarter, 25 cents for this vintage Pyrex and it is marked there on the bottom. It sold in under a month for $30 plus the buyer paid shipping. So this one is about a $25 profit and it sold very, very fast. And then a cute little brass angel. She is very, very cute. She's actually pretty heavy, even though she's so small. She sold for $8. I paid like 50 cents for her. So she's about a $6 profit and she sold in about six months. And last for eBay, before we move to the other platform, are two Harley pens. This one here is a gas tank emblem Harley Davidson. And then there is this twin V Harley Davidson. The two of these sold for $31.16. So they're actually about a $25 profit. All right, now I'm going to show you Poshmark Etsy Mercari. Don't forget, I use this perfectly to cross post everything. Actually, my 73 year old mother cross posts everything. I do pay her to do that. And speaking of that, I did hire Lynn, who I interviewed last week, to be my assistant. And essentially, I'm going to train her to pretty much run eBay because eBay has been getting neglected. That way, I can concentrate on doing whatnot sales with jewelry as well as sourcing 
sourcing some great stuff for both eBay and whatnot. So Lynn will be starting the 27th of this month and you might you might meet her in a future video. She might come thrifting with me for catch treasure hunting as well. So I am really excited about having some help around here and she is really excited to learn about reselling and I'm happy to have somebody that is as excited about reselling as I am. So we will be welcoming Lynn to our team at the end of this month. So over on Poshmark, we had some great sales. First was, and I had to, I had to wear my gator shirt because, because of this. Um, we sold this Florida State Seminoles little beanie for $8. So I paid 50 cents. This one's about a $4.50 profit. And then this was a really good sale. So I picked these frogs up for 10. They sold for $53 on Poshmark. I did put acrobatic frogs. This is an old cast iron piece. And this is going to be about a $35 profit sold in about six months. And they are on a lily pad if you see down there at the bottom. Up next is a giant, giant longa burger basket. This one here is a Christmas holiday hostess basket from 1997. So this one sold for 69 over on Poshmark. I paid 10, but it weighs over five pounds. So when something weighs over five pounds on Poshmark, you have to buy additional weight label. So I'm hoping it'll go under seven pounds. It's a little over five by itself. And that means I'll lose another $7 over my fees. So it's probably going to be about a $40 profit and it sold in under three months. And then another item that is my friend Charlene's. This is a bad girl tank top. And this one sold for $18 over on Poshmark. It actually looks like Charlene either wore it once or never wore it. So it is in great condition. So we will split the profits on this. It'll be about $5 each in profit. All right. I learned a little bit of a lesson and I probably should have known it and I shouldn't be selling $3 things anyways, but on Poshmark, they have like a minimum fee. So let me show you these. I sold these modernist copper earrings. I've had them over two years, first of all, but they only sold for $3. Guess how much my payout is for these earrings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you just a second to guess what my payout is on a $3 sale on Poshmark. It is a nickel. <laughs> now I am all in profit on that copper lot, so it's a nickel, but it's actually negative after I pay for a poly mailer to put those in. So I might actually, they might go in a padded flat rate because with Poshmark you can use any priority supplies and that that is probably what I'll do because if I pay 50 cents for a poly, I put those in, I'm then negative on that sale. So over on Poshmark, I would say, really shouldn't have items under ten dollars because they have a minimum fee and you end up making essentially nothing all right we have two sales over on mercari this one is super cute look at this little flamingo with his santa hat on really really cute he's standing on the beat this little flamingo sold for fifteen dollars over on mercari i paid a dollar so he's about a ten dollar profit and then we sold this nutcracker. It is a triple little nutcracker. This little thing swings too. So this one sold for 19 over on Mercari and it's gonna be about a $10 profit. And actually now that I'm looking at it, all three of these nutcrackers crack nuts. So pretty cool. All right, over on Etsy and I only pulled one so I'm gonna pop the other ones up. First was this vintage Jeff Gordon NASCAR sweatshirt. There is the tag. It is a nutmeg extra extra large. This one was a $30 sale over on Poshmark. I paid a dollar for this. So it's about a 20 or sorry over on Etsy not Poshmark. It's about a $20 profit and it sold in about four to five months. And then I will pop it up. I sold a lot of Barbie camping toys i only paid a few dollars for these they sold for 45 dollars and 64 cents so they're about a 30 dollar profit and they sold in about two to three months 
unless on Etsy, I'll put it over here, was a license plate. This is a vintage Florida license plate. It sold for 47, so it is about a $30 profit and it sold in about four months. All right, so if you notice, this is my Monday what sold, but you are watching it on, I believe, Thursday. I haven't decided if I wanna do Thursdays or Fridays. A lot of people do videos on Fridays and they do live, so I think I'm gonna put this on Thursday. So I'm assuming that's when you're seeing it. I am trying to space my videos out a little more, and I was having my what sold Monday and then my live Tuesday. So that's why I'm kind of spacing them out if you miss the Tuesday night live, you missed an important announcement. Julian has stepped down as co-host. He has been with me for close to two years and we have brought on Rod from Picking and Punching. He will be my new co-host. So please welcome him. If you are not following him over on YouTube, please go check him out. And don't forget, we are live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also wanna remind you this Saturday, if you missed my video on Sunday, I found some amazing antique and vintage pieces, including Miriam Haskell, Tiffany & Co. There's a lot of high dollar pieces that there will be room for resale, or if you want to get them for yourself or a gift, we will be selling them on Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern. It is the Vintage Timeless Jewelry event over on Whatnot. So go bookmark it, come and see us on Saturday. Some great, great deals. And I'm giving away over $600 in jewelry. Who wouldn't want $600 in free jewelry, right? So bookmark that show, come see me over on Whatnot. I appreciate you watching. I want to thank Rod Picking at Punching, Picking and Punching for stepping up and filling the co-host position. Again, check out his channel, go follow him. And I appreciate you all watching. I will see you on Sunday with another video. Bye for now.